you for choosing the University of the West Indies, the institution that is now the Caribbean's number one university among Latin America's top 2% and ranked with the world's top 4%. This video will guide you on how to complete the application as you start the process of becoming a Pelican. Before you begin the application process, please ensure that you have your email address and password on hand to create your account. Step 1. Creating your account To access the UWI Mona Campus online application form, please visit the UWI Mona website at Mona dot uwi dot edu select the option apply to ue then click apply now the first step in the application process is to create an application account by entering the details required under the section create an account here your password should be alphanumeric with not less than six characters and not more than 20 characters the first character should be a letter. After you have created your account, at the top of the screen, you will see in green, Info. A message was sent to the email address you provided. Check the message for further instructions. In your inbox will be a message from the UE Mono Admissions asking you to verify your email account by clicking on a link in the body of the message. Please click the link in order to set up the account with your password. Once you enter your password, you will be taken back to the portal. On the left side of the screen, please enter your email address and password to start the application process. After clicking I agree, log in, you will be directed to this page. Click on each section and complete the required information until the red X's turn to green ticks. In the status column, the ticks indicate those sections that have already been completed. The ticks in the required column indicate those sections which must be completed, while the X's indicate those sections which are not mandatory to be completed. Personal data. Note, fields marked with the red asterisk are required. Some may be conditionally required, meaning they depend on selections in other fields. Kindly indicate your personal data details in this section. You will need to click the drop-down arrow to indicate your title, gender, marital status, nationality. Ensure that your name is entered the same way it appears on your birth certificate or passport, as well as academic certificates and transcripts. In entering your date of birth, you have the option to click on the calendar or enter date, month, and year. The taxpayer registration number, TRN, only applies to Jamaican nationals. Please note that the nationality you indicate will be used to determine the tuition fees that you will be required to pay. Persons who are not sponsored by their countries or are nationals of non-contributing territories will be required to pay international fees. The section for former name only applies to persons who have had a name change through marriage or deed poll. In the section for medical information, please specify if you have a disability in order for the UWI to put plans in place to assist should you be given an offer of a place. Please click continue in order to move on to the next page. Applicant contact information. Note, fields marked with the red asterisk are required. Some may be conditionally required, meaning they depend on selections in other fields. The telephone numbers are to be entered in the format shown. Three digit area code followed by seven digit phone number no spaces or symbols. Please ensure that the email address is entered in the correct slot. The UWI will communicate with you by email, so please ensure that it is entered correctly. In addition to the permanent and mailing address, please enter the name and contact information of the person who should be contacted in the case of an emergency. Once you have completed this section, please click on Continue 
to move on to the next page. Choice of campus and program. Note, fields marked with the red asterisk are required. Please use the drop-down arrow to select the campus you wish to attend. It is very important that you select the undergraduate level to see the undergraduate programs that are opened for applications. Should you select the graduate level, only postgraduate programs will be seen. Selecting the incorrect level will result in your application not being processed in a timely manner. The next step would be to select the programs for which you would like to be considered for and then click Add Record. Please note that first choice refers to your number one preferred program. And the second choice refers to the program you would like to be considered for in the event you are denied entry to your first choice. In some cases, you may be considered for all the choices you made depending on your eligibility and availability of places. This, however, does not apply to the nursing, physical therapy, dentistry, and radiography programs. You will have to select those programs as first choice in order to be considered. This section also allows you to apply for programs in another faculty in the event that you are not considered for your first choice of faculty. Kindly note also that during the processing of your application, the admissions representative may add the other programs for which you are eligible, in addition to the programs that you would have already selected. Please click continue in order to move on to the next page. High schools attended. Note, fields marked with the red asterisk are required. Please use the drop-down arrow to select the name of the high school that you have attended or are currently attending. If you have attended more than one high schools, click on Add Record to enter the information. If the name is not in the list provided, please enter it in the section Not in List. Please click Continue in order to move on to the next page. Colleges attended. Note, fields marked with the red asterisk are required. The Colleges Attended section is only applicable to those persons who have or are attending tertiary level institutions. If you are pursuing CAPE subjects at a community college, please complete the high school section. Click Continue in order to move on to the next page. Exams Results CXE, CAPE, GCE Note, Fields marked with the red asterisk are required. In this section, you are required to indicate all subjects you have passed, as well as subjects you will be sitting at the end of the school year. Grades are expected to be entered as numerical characters. For pending subjects, the area for the grade must be left blank. Do not enter the word pending. Remember, a specific date of the month is not required. What is important is that the correct year is entered. Please note that your application may not be processed correctly if you do not indicate all subjects you have passed, as well as those you are registered to sit at the end of the school year. Click Add Record after each entry. Kindly note that if you have not done any of the examinations that are on the list, you will be required to click on the word Asset and indicate a grade and a date so as to be able to submit the application. Please click continue in order to move on to the next page. Employment record. Note, fields marked with the red asterisk are required. This section is only applicable to those persons who are gainfully employed. Please click continue in order to move on to the next page. Financial Resources Important note, the University of the West Indies Mona Campus is a registered institution with the Jamaica Credit Bureaus. As a registered institution, the university may provide the Credit Bureau with financial information on our students. The university therefore encourages all students to maintain good financial standing in order to avoid any potential negative impact on their credit rating. 
Please indicate your source of funding and then click continue in order to move on to the next page. Referee information. Note, fields marked with the red asterisk are required. This section is only applicable to persons applying to the Bachelor of Science in Social Work, Physical Therapy, Diagnostic Imaging, Nursing, and Pharmacy programs. Please click Continue in order to move on to the next page. When you have completed all the sections of the application form and the X's are now ticks, please review to ensure that all the required sections have been completed with the correct information. Once you have entered the correct information in Choice of Campus and Program, all required sections will appear. Kindly note that you will not be able to make any additional changes once the application is submitted. After reviewing the information entered, click the Submit Application button. Immediately, after submitting the application, an acknowledgement letter will be sent to your email advising of the necessary documents that are to be certified, scanned, and uploaded. Ensure to read the acknowledgement letter thoroughly and follow the instructions. Uploading Supporting Documents it is now time to upload the documents as outlined in the My Requirements section of the application form and also in the Acknowledgement Letter. You will be required to photocopy the original document and then have the specified person certify the copies. After the documents have been certified, scan them separately and then upload them to the application using the link Submit Supporting Documents located below the Submit Application button. Please note that the name of the files should not include punctuation marks and special characters. After completing all the steps above, your application will be reviewed and processed. The admission section will communicate with you regarding the outcome of your application. <laughs> Offer of entry. Accept. Reject or accept and defer. All communication will be sent to the email address that you included on your application. An offer of entry or offer letter or acceptance letter will be sent to you by email. When you receive an offer of admission, please read the instructions it contains. To accept the offer, click on the link in the offer letter to indicate your decision or visit the application portal where two options will be available to you. Option 1. Click on Respond to Offer. In congratulations, you have been offered a place. Click here to respond to your offer just above the Submit Application button. Or, if you prefer Option 2, click on the link that says Click here to review undergraduate applications. Should you receive an offer, your decision should be one of the following. 1. Accept. 2. Reject. Or 3. Applicant accept and request deferral. Please note that under Forms and Documents, you can click to review important forms and documents including the offer letter, guide to first-year students, <laughs> medical application form, housing form, registration schedule, fees. If you had applied to several programs and your applications were successful, offers will be sent separately for each application in which you were successful, even while your other applications are being processed. Kindly be advised that if you receive more than one offer of entry, you must respond to all by indicating your decision. It should be noted that you can only accept one offer. Please bear in mind that if you choose to accept a subsequent offer, our system will automatically indicate that you have refused the previous offer which you had accepted. It is advisable that you check the application portal occasionally to ensure that you have indicated the correct decision for your program of choice. You must indicate your decision by the deadline stated in your offer letter. Failure to do so may result in the withdrawal of the offer or prevent you from registering. 
We are honored to have been placed on your list of university choices and wish you all the best in your pursuit of excellence. Should you have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to our admissions section by email admissions at uimono.edu.jm. We remain committed to serving you through this educational journey. Best wishes. Thank you for choosing the University of the West Indies Mono. Orient ex Occidente Lux, a light rising from the West. Ooh.